Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this flip top plastic part in cryoparametric. So let's get started. So if you see this plastic part, this is a flip top plastic part. So if I move like this, it closes and if I move like this, it opens. So this is the flip top plastic part. Now when you design this part in closed condition, just like this, you cannot design this part like this because when you design this part in closed condition, these wall get merged. So, it won't be separated. And for this, I will use spinal bend technique. So, to design this part, you need to follow this technique. Now, let us start this part from the beginning. And for this, first you go to new part solid assign the name uncheck use default template and say ok now from here you can select the proper part template so if you are going for metric template then you can go with solid part millimeter kilogram second rel is relative this is the file accuracy you can even go for abs absolute accuracy so i'll go with this i'll say ok Now here I will start with extrude onto the top datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Now draw a center rectangle somewhere here, just like this. This I will take 100 and this one 10. You can take your own dimension as per your requirement. Now say OK. Flip the direction downwards and this one you take it as 30. Say OK. Once this is done, one more time extrude onto the same datum plane. Normal. Use shift and middle mouse button to drag it like this. Once again, create a center rectangle somewhere here. make this line equal to this. Now again this is 100 and this gap is 10. Once again say ok. Flip the direction and this time you take this value as 20. Say ok. Now you add a round, this one, this one, this one and this one, same round this side. This is 15 and say ok. One more round which is somewhere here and here and this will be 10. Now you go for cell, select this face and this face. Thickness I am taking as 7 and say ok. One more time extrude onto this face, normal. Go for reference, select this edge and this edge, then center rectangle. From here, just like this. Say OK. Flip the direction 
and take this value as 4. Say OK. Now the next thing is extrude cut onto this face, say normal, go to reference, select this face. Now here you draw the line just like this, go for mirror and select this line. Now this is 15 and this is 13 and this value you take it as 0 0.5. Similarly you draw a arc here from here till here just like this. Move this point to this reference then you take this gap as 1. Close this sketch like this and then this value you take it as 15. Say OK. Flip the direction, make it to next and say OK. Now I will go for sweep. I will select this edge. Hold the shift key, move your cursor like this and select the close loop. Go for remove material and sketch. Now here you draw a rectangle just like this. This will be 3.5, half of the thickness. Now say OK and OK. Similarly, one more sweep. This time you select this edge, hold the shift key and select the close loop. Go for sketch. Draw the rectangle. Just like this. This will be 3.5, half of the thickness. Say OK. And say OK. So the part is done. Now the last thing is you add a sketch onto this plane, sketch normal, now first you draw a circle here with this reference just like this, radius you take it as 1 and then draw the line starting from here, go like this till this reference. You can take a reference like this. Similarly, one more line starting from here, this side till this reference, go for delete segment and delete this segment and this segment. This dimension you take it to. Now, here you need to create a perimeter dimension. So, go to perimeter, select this line segment, this segment, and this segment together. Say enter and then select a dimension which will vary. So, I will vary this dimension to is variable. Now, this value. This is the total length of this. So, from here till here, this is 100, then 20, and then 100. So, this will be 220. So, when you change this value, this value will vary. Now, say OK. So, the sketch is done. Now, this sketch I will use for spinal bend, and for this, go to engineering, select spinal bend. Click here and select the solid geometry, then lock length, so it will lock the overall length and then go to reference, click here and select the newly created sketch. So now 
as you see here it got closed so you have three options here if you go with the second option you can play with this you just move it till here it is open now slowly it will start closing so it is bending and finally if you move little forward it will close say okay control d now switch on the datum plane select this datum plane and go for section change the section name as section a and say okay hide this sketch so now you see this part this is the closed condition it is not yet merged now if i modify the dimension let's say i will make it 110 it is open and the part is done so this is how you can use spinal bend to design this kind of part where designing the part in closed condition is difficult so this was the practical example for spinal bend in creo parametric and i hope this video will be helpful so that's it from this video like the video if it is helpful and i'll see you in my next video thank you